Number 15. T-Rex They may have well gone extinct many millions of years ago, but dinosaurs have continued to fascinate us ever since the first fossils were discovered. It seemed almost inevitable then that someone would make a hot air balloon that was designed after one, and they chose the most ferocious species of all, a T-Rex. It's almost 127 feet tall, it's an absolute monster of a balloon, and it looks incredible as it's floating in the sky alongside others, almost seeming as if it's about to devour them in one bite. It was actually one of the first hot air balloons to be developed on a computer-aided design software as opposed to sketches on a drawing board, and this enabled the company behind it to get the smooth shapes and curves of the dinosaur as lifelike as possible. The result was this towering balloon that's now a regular highlight at festivals around the world and is the perfect example of how a balloon design has come a long way past the traditional pear-shaped ones that are more commonly seen. Number 14. The Upside-Down Balloon The easiest and most efficient hot air balloon designs is a pear figure, which is the basis for most hot air balloons in the world. But while you may not think there's much innovation that can be done with such a basic shape, there's one balloon that turns everything on its head, quite literally. Created for a European engineering manufacturer as part of a publicity campaign, this upside-down balloon cost around $75,000 to produce and was made alongside a twin balloon that's the normal way up. They quite often fly together, it means that you might see the normal one first, then the upside-down one, and think something's gone seriously wrong. In fact, on its first flight in Bristol, England in 2005, an ambulance was called by concerned onlookers who thought the balloon had capsized mid-flight. Despite having a basket at the top, it's actually a dummy. And the real basket is hidden within the base of the balloon. This makes it very hard to fly because the view is restricted from this position. It means that anyone taking into the air has to be specially trained before they're allowed to do so. Since its creation, the upside-down balloon has been a regular fixture at events around the world and has proved to be a resounding success in helping to promote the company that commissioned it. Number 13. Sky Whale Originally designed to celebrate the 100-year anniversary of the Australian city of Canberra, the Sky Whale hot air balloon has become one of the most famous around the world because of its unusual shape. It was created by sculptor Patricia Piccinini, who had grown up in the city and is known for her works that incorporate lifelike human shapes. And as this was her first time designing a balloon, she approached the challenge in a very different way than normal. Instead of designing a balloon that looks like something else, she instead wanted to create a sculpture of a living creature that could be made with the same materials as a balloon. She began asking herself what would have happened if, instead of evolving to re-enter the oceans like some mammals have, what if they instead evolved to live in the air? The result was the sky whale, which according to the sculptor doesn't have wings, but instead emits a lighter-than-air gas that's collected in its huge udders and allows it to float in the sky. With a huge bulbous body, it has what's meant to be a human-like face, and is said to exist somewhere between the impossible and the unlikely. At 112 feet tall and 75 feet wide, the sky whale is bigger than most hot air balloons and can reach a maximum altitude of 3,000 feet. The material alone weighs more than half a ton, and it took six workers more than seven months to stitch together. Due to its size, it's a lot slower to move than other designs and is particularly difficult to land. The first flight was in Canberra in 2013, and it's been somewhat controversial, not just because of the way it looks, but because of the cost. In total, it's thought to have been built for a price of around 120,000 US dollars. Operation costs would have increased this to more than $210,000 over its lifetime. Number 12. Van Gogh With improvements in design technology, there's virtually no idea that can't be realized in hot air balloon form, as long as you have the budget for it. And there's perhaps none as unusually shaped as the one that's based of one of Van Gogh's most famous works, his self-portrait with gray felt hat. An incredible amount of work went into making it. The first step was to create a high-resolution digital image of the original artwork before turning that into a 3D model. This model was then used as the basis for the design of the balloon, which was sewn into individual panels before they were all combined. The manufacturers went into so much detail that every single brushstroke is meticulously recreated, making it truly one of a kind. Something like this doesn't come cheap or without consequences, however. The estimated cost of construction was around 288,000 US dollars. And because it's such an unusual shape, it isn't anywhere near as maneuverable as other balloons. It has to be flown slowly and carefully because it doesn't react very quickly to changes in altitude, which makes all things more nervy when you know how expensive any damage could be. Still, it's definitely the centerpiece of any balloon show where it flies. It is a great way to introduce new people to the artist's work, even if it does have two complete ears. 
Number 11, the Breitling Orbiter 3. In the 1980s and 90s, the race was on between competing teams to be the first to successfully fly around the world without stopping in a hot air balloon. And finally, in 1999, it was the team sponsored by Swiss watchmaker Breitling that set the record. Known as the Breitling Orbiter 3, this was no ordinary hot air balloon. Fully inflated, it was 180 feet tall, and to ensure the pilots had complete control over the warm air inside the balloon envelope, the gondola had six propane burners that were fed from 28 titanium cylinders that were mounted along its sides. To make the flight possible, designers had to cheat a little to ensure the balloon would stay inflated, so it wasn't fully lifted just by hot air. It also contained a helium cell, which when warmed by the sun would expand and give further lift. Furthermore, because the balloon traveled much higher than normal hot air balloons, the two-man crew weren't simply sat in a basket beneath it. The gondola was made from Kevlar and carbon fiber and was sealed at 6,000 feet to maintain pressure. Nitrogen and oxygen were added to the cabin air, while carbon dioxide was removed by lithium hydroxide filters, and solar panels that hung beneath it provided all the electrical power they needed. In March of 1999, the balloon successfully returned to where it had launched from, and in the process set the record for the first circumnavigation of the globe by a balloon, and the longest unrefueled flight ever, both in terms of distance and time. Number 10, Darth Vader. People visit balloon festivals around the world to see the skies full of different shapes and colors. And while the majesty of seeing these calm vehicles floating through the air is a spectacle in itself, it's always exciting to see novel designs based on popular characters from the world of entertainment. For one balloon manufacturer, the dream had always been to make something based on Star Wars, but it proved difficult to meet with Lucasfilm to acquire the rights to do so. A chance encounter at Fan Wars in 2005 led to a message being sent to the company to ask permission, and to their surprise, they were given the go-ahead. Of course, the most recognizable image from the saga to make into a balloon was Darth Vader's helmet, and work was soon underway to make this a reality. Built under the codename Head One, so no one would know about its existence until its first flight, the balloon was finally inflated in March of 2007. At 86 feet tall, 69 feet wide, and 78 feet deep, the balloon contains an estimated 105,000 cubic feet of hot air, and weighing 640 pounds is undoubtedly the biggest Vader helmet to have ever been built. Number 9. Yoda At the center of the Star Wars saga is the notion that everything in the universe exists in balance. Where there's darkness, there's always the chance of the influx of light. And the developers of the Darth Vader balloon realized this. The rules of the Force dictated that there should be a balloon to represent the good side, so they began working on their next project, a Yoda balloon. He's a character that's famed for being small and powerful, so this balloon is no different. At just 62 feet tall, 92 feet wide, and 55 feet deep, and containing an air volume of 60,000 cubic feet, it's far from the biggest balloon to ever be made, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for with impact. The expression on Yoda's face was purposefully designed to come across as thoughtful, and you can tell he's totally focused on flying across the sky. As was the case with the Vader balloon, the construction of Yoda was kept a complete secret, and it was only revealed to the world as a surprise in front of a 1,000-strong crowd in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in 2014. Since then, both balloons are regularly flown at events around the world, and are some of the most popular of all for spectators. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Underground Balloon When you think of a hot air balloon, there are a few things you normally expect from them. One thing that seems obvious is that they're full of hot air and fly up into the sky, but that doesn't always have to be the case. Amazingly, in 2014, an Australian pilot set the world record for flying a hot air balloon deeper underground than most people have ever been. To make this record attempt possible, a special small hot air balloon was made that had an iron frame instead of the traditional basket. And the 70-year-old pilot, Ivan Trifonov, had to sit on top of two gas cylinders that fed the burner. Of course, it required an ideal location, too, and the chosen site was the Mamek Cave in Croatia which has a wide opening at ground level before plummeting 675 feet to the cave floor. Overall, the flight, which was sponsored by the Croatian Tourist Board, took 25 minutes to complete, and by doing so, Trifonov set his fifth ballooning world record. By his own admission, it was a feat that seems impossible to improve upon, both because of the limitations of how small a hot air balloon can be, and because there are very few places in the world where it could be attempted that reach deeper than the cave in Croatia. Number 7. New Horizon 
Because of their size and visibility, once they're in the air, hot air balloons are the perfect canvas for artists wanting to share their ideas with the world. And one of the most impactful of all was revealed in 2019. Designed by American artist Doug Aitken, New Horizon is a 100-foot-tall pear-shaped balloon that's made from a semi-mirrored material. The project was commissioned on behalf of the Trustees Art and Landscape Program, which works with artists across the U.S. to create works in response to their natural surroundings. Aitken could have done whatever he wanted, but he felt that using a hot air balloon added an element of unpredictability, and is something that's far more accessible to the wider public than an installation that remains fixed in place. According to Aitken, the balloon is nomadic and is constantly changing in response to the environment it's flying through. He worked with scientists at NASA to create the material that reflects everything around it, and it's also covered in LED lights that are used to illuminate it at nighttime. The balloon toured through the U.S. during the summer of 2019 alongside cultural activities, and the response was so positive that plans are in motion to make this an annual event. Number 6. Patriot between 1981 and 2011, people traveled to Florida from around the world for the opportunity to see a space shuttle in flight. Once the program ended, they soon became a distant memory that could only be seen in video footage. This, of course, doesn't get close to the experience of being there in person, but there is a way you can still see one in the sky. The world's tallest hot air balloon is called Patriot, and it's a faithful recreation of a space shuttle. At an astonishing 177 feet tall and 115 feet wide, it's bigger than the Statue of Liberty and more than 40% larger than the actual space shuttles themselves. In fact, you could actually fit one of the legendary vehicles within the envelope of this balloon. And while it's definitely not as difficult to fly as a spaceship, it's far more complicated than an ordinary hot air balloon. Weighing almost half a ton, it requires a crew of between 15 and 20 people to inflate it and pack it away, but the effect is incredible. When the burner is heating the air, it looks like the rockets of the shuttle are firing and has convinced plenty of people that it is, in fact, the real deal. Patriot regularly flies at balloon festivals around the world, so if you want the opportunity to see it in the sky, it could well be launching somewhere near you soon. Number 5. Ben & Jerry's Ben & Jerry's is one of the most famous ice cream manufacturers in the world. They've managed to achieve this level of fame both because of their unique flavors and by their unconventional marketing strategies one of which involved creating two custom-designed hot air balloons. The first is a traditional pear-shaped design with the company's logo on it. But the most impressive one, and possibly the most delicious-looking hot air balloon you'll ever see, is the second, which is designed to look like a scoop of Cherry Garcia in a waffle cone. If this 10-story high balloon was actually ice cream, it'd be the equivalent of 11.7 million scoops, which is the same as almost 3 million pint cups. Both of the balloons are almost 100 feet tall and have long toured the world to fly at balloon festivals and to host unique visitor experiences where people can try the new flavors of ice cream that are about to be launched. There was possibly no better way for the company to make sure everyone knew who they were, and seeing one of the balloons flying miles away would surely make you want to buy some for yourself. Number 4. Superbike With new design techniques and materials, it's possible to turn virtually any shape into a hot air balloon. This makes it difficult to know exactly which one is the largest to have ever flown, but one serious contender was built in 2015 and has been touring the world ever since. Designed to look just like a superbike, it's unbelievably huge. Said to be bigger than two basketball courts, it weighs two-thirds of a ton, is 121 feet tall and 151 feet wide. It took eight specialist seamstresses more than eight months to complete, in a job that required stitching 5,500 individual fabric panels together with more than 50 miles of thread. It's so big that it requires a crew of up to 10 to prepare it for liftoff, which is five times that needed for a normal balloon. And because of its shape, it's far more difficult to land and therefore requires specialist training to fly. While this might be easily the biggest superbike and driver in the world, it also compares favorably against the bike on which it was based. While the Superbike has a top speed of 185 miles per hour, and the balloon travels at a more modest 12 miles an hour, the balloon is much heavier, and has a more powerful engine, carries more passengers, and has a much larger fuel capacity, and can travel much, much further on one tank. Number 3. The Spirit of 1743 If you've ever had a chance to go on a hot air balloon flight, particularly if it was a romantic gesture, then you'll know the one thing a trip won't be complete without as you float above the countryside is a glass of champagne. In fact, the sparkling wine has become so synonymous with hot air balloon travel that one of the world's most famous producers, Moet & Shandon, have their very own balloon that's the shape of a cork. Known as the Spirit of 1743, it's used for various promotional events around the world. In 2012, for example, it delivered the champagne supplies to the Academy Awards, 
which meant that it was loaded with more than a thousand bottles of Moet Imperial, 600 bottles of Moet and Chandon Grand Vintage, and one very special bottle of Moet and Chandon from 1929, which was the year the Academy Awards began. The balloon has become an iconic sight in its own right since its first flight in 1990 and has flown in at least 21 countries, including Japan, Russia, the USA, South Africa, and even China. It's used to pass on the story of Moet and Chandon, a company that's been producing champagne since 1743 and is one of the reasons that it's still the epitome of luxury to this day. Number two, the first hot air balloon. Even though by today's standards, hot air balloons fly by relatively simple processes, they are the height of scientific progression when the first idea was proposed in the 18th century. It was the Montgolfier brothers from France who realized that heated air inside a paper or fabric bag could make it rise, and they showed their discovery in a marketplace in June of 1783, where their unmanned balloon rose 3,000 feet before gently landing again. A few months later, they repeated their experiment in Paris, but this time the first ever hot air balloon passengers were on board, a sheep, a rooster, and a duck. Again, this test went exactly as planned, and it wasn't long before they found two pilots who were brave enough to be the first humans on a flight. Surprisingly, little has changed from their original designs to the ones we use today, which shows just how well thought out their ideas were. But of course, their original balloons haven't survived the test of time, because they were made from fabric. Recently, however, enthusiasts have recreated the original Montgolfier balloon in all of its glory. First revealed in 2013 at the Chateau d'Oex Balloon Festival in the Swiss Alps, it was an exact replica of one of the brothers made more than 230 years ago. And you can only imagine what people at the time must have thought when they saw it lifting off into the sky. Number one, the balloon from Up. The most famous fictional hot air balloon in the world is undoubtedly the one used in the Pixar movie Up, which was used by Carl Fredrickson to explore the world. Of course, in the film, he moved his house by inflating it and attaching hundreds of individual balloons, and while this isn't exactly feasible in the real world, balloon enthusiast Simon Askey created the next best thing. He designed a hot air balloon that's covered in images of multicolored balloons, and also has 600 small balloons sewn into the outer skin to make it look like a giant bunch. Surprisingly, the hot air balloon that is used for is actually one of the smaller models, which contains 84,000 cubic feet of air. But even though it's far from being the biggest at the festivals it travels to, it gets one of the best reactions from the crowd. It took six months to sew together and was done in collaboration with Disney to ensure that it was close to the original designs as possible. Keeping in theme with the movie, instead of having a traditional basket beneath the balloon, he's adapted it to look like the house, and the resulting effect was so impressive that on its first flight through London, it made headlines throughout the world. It immediately became one of the most must-see balloons, with invites from all the major festivals. But there's one place the owners dream of flying at the most, the Angel Falls in Venezuela, which were the inspiration behind the movie in the first place.